So I just recently picked up this 2006 M1078 and the exhaust brake was totally corroded and I had to hammer it to get this shaft to move in there. Um, I did get it freed up. It seemed like it moved real nice. Put it back together and as soon as the exhaust heats up then it's then it's still really stiff and it gets stuck. So I ordered a new one. I was going to service the air dryer but as I got to the shop UPS pulled in and had the pack break so I, I want to put that on. Okay, that is the adapter. Hmm, that's a booklet. Catalog. That's all that's in there. Let's see how that's going to fit on the truck. So I pulled the old one off and we have a four inch pipe here to five inch. This adapter was welded on to this pack brake, but they do not do that anymore. So what I have is, we have the four inch pack brake. And they like this to be on the top. The other one was here, but they want it to be up. So I'm gonna put it right about like that. Let's put a clamp on that. Ooh, so when that closes, I just want to see how far that cylinder... <laughs> Shit, did that go in the exhaust? It blew the little cap out of the uh, air uh, inlet fitting there, but... Let's see how far that moves. All right, I'm going to go right there, and I don't believe it's going to interfere with the intake pipe at all. Then next we have this cast 90. Okay, leave that just a little loose so I can turn that if I want and line that up. So now, came with this to weld on the exhaust pipe, which is four inch, and we need to adapt that to five inch. So I got this four to five adapter inside inside, which means four inch inside, so it'll slide over that. Five inch inside, so it'll slide over this five inch piece. That way, I don't have to be precise with my cut and butt it up to the other pipe and get the height exact. Um, we can slide this over. I'll probably cut these slots off so I can just weld it nice around there. Um, so we're gonna take off this exhaust clamp and see if that'll come ahead. It's gotta come ahead about no more than an inch, three quarters of an inch maybe, maybe not even that much. It looks like it's back about an inch, so a little more, maybe an inch and a quarter. So yeah, five eighths maybe it has to come ahead. And I think we do have a flex pipe. We have this is a 90 with another kind of a 45 in it down there and then it has a flex pipe to the muffler so I believe that'll come ahead. Just have to modify this bracket right here that's holding it in position. Um, put a little another piece of metal in there to make that uh, come ahead more off from there. And cut this down here somewhere. So I went ahead and just removed the exhaust pipe from the truck it was just a hanger here one clamp there and another hanger here bolted onto the engine so the cast piece that we have was about three inches up from here 
So that's basically nine inches from center line where this clamp was, is where I want to be. So if we have this at nine inches from center line on clamp, that's about right there. Um, I want to keep this piece above the clamp. So I'm thinking right there. So if we cut this right here, it'll slide up to there. We'll cut this right here. That'll give that some room to slide about an inch. And then we'll cut, we'll cut these off. We'll cut right there. And then, do we need to cut this off? I don't think we need to cut this one at all, really. We don't. Okay, two cuts here, one cut here. this up where I'm going to be welding it. I'm just going to assemble it. And I said we wanted it nine inches from the center of that clamp. Oh look at that. It's about perfect. Because of this wiggle what I'm gonna do is bolt this all back in now and tack it and then yank it out and weld it. Okay, right there. There we go. Just checking my hanger here. So remember I said this had to come ahead about three quarters of an inch. So I'm actually gonna have to add some onto that to, get to reach the hole. So I'm gonna weld a piece of steel onto here, about an inch long, re-drill this hole in the correct place before I tack that in. So I got my five inch exhaust hanger positioned here and I vice gripped it in place there where I extended the length and now I'm just going to mark that hole so I can drill it in the right spot there. that out, bolt it in place, and then tack these, take it out and weld it. Got my hanger extended with a hole in it. Let's bolt it back in there. There. Okay, the pipe is solid. Now I just have to tack that in place. Try to get three here. I wanted to get it all clamped in there just so there was zero stress on the joints so i know it's clamp tight this is exactly where these pipes want to be let's weld it let's get it out of there and weld it i think it's good Just 
want to check the clearance up here when this cylinder rotates. Make sure I still have clearance. Plenty of clearance. Yeah, it doesn't move that much. So plenty of clearance on that. I just need to switch over this airline. Ha! Huh. Easier said than done, huh? There we go. That one's kind of tight, eh? Do need to pull this elbow yeah. out of here, reuse it. Clean the threads up and put some new Teflon tape on there. Come on. Yeah, maybe back like that. Just thinking about that cab hanging rubber. So probably back like this. My original thought. Yeah, right there. I'll try that. If the flap interferes out here, I'll just rotate it a little more. There. Now this hose, apparently they don't use that anymore. So it is pretty tight right there. I did have to rotate the airline straight back. Um, but I think that's good. I mean, it's no closer than the alternator wires, which I might rotate this one. Well, yeah, it's no closer than that. I could always rotate it a little bit this way just to get the spring down but I mean I think that I just bring this closer up in here I think I got it pretty good right there I like that I'll just leave it like that now can we get the GoPro somewhere where we can see it working driving down the road This is my initial pack brake order with the exhaust brake and the mounting group kit which was the 90 degree elbow and the short piece of pipe with some clamps. It did not include a clamp to clamp the elbow to the short piece of pipe so I ordered that after with some lubricant and I also bought the 4 inch to 5 inch adapter just locally at a parts store.